Hi there, this is the introduction video for module three. So in module three, we're gonna really start to focus on the idea of statistical inference. So just kind of put things in perspective. What we're doing is a researcher is interested in learning about some population. In particular, the thing they wanna learn is the parameter. Since the population is so large, they can't inspect every person or every element of the population. So instead what they do is they take a small group called a sample, from the sample they calculate a statistic. And so what you're gonna to start to learn today is a skill set that you can use to take the statistic and learn about the plausible values that the parameter can take based off of the statistic that you saw. And so the very first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna look at what is called a sampling distribution. So a sampling distribution, what it is, is it gives us a way to visualize how the statistic varies from sample to sample. And the important part about that is that you're gonna learn about a quantity that's called the standard error. The standard error is a way for us to measure how much that statistic varies. And we need to measure that variability in order to use the statistic to estimate the parameter. So the term um, standard error is one of the really big concepts from today. Then what you're gonna see is Unfortunately, getting a hold of the standard error can be a difficult thing, so you're going to be introduced to a concept that's called bootstrapping. Bootstrapping gives us a way to take a single sample and estimate the standard error, in other words, how statistics from many samples vary. And then to sum it all up, you're going to learn about what's called a confidence interval. And what a confidence interval is, is it's an interval with the statistic at the center and that interval tells you what the plausible values for the parameter are using that single statistic. And so that's your goal for today, is to learn how to construct confidence intervals, which give you an idea of where the parameter, that thing you really wanna learn is located. Now, um, one thing that I wanna tell you all is, I mean, as you probably figured out, I got, um, I was put into this class last minute, so all of these videos that I'm making, all those additional videos, I'm kind of making them as I go, and they are a little bit rushed, and I know that. So, sorry about that. So, if you come across a concept and you think, wow, I really wish she had talked about that more, or I really wish I had another example of this, use the discussion board, let me know that, and I'm happy to accommodate that. So don't feel like at any point that you've come across something that you're not sure about, and there's nobody to help you. I'm more than happy to help you with it. You just need to let me know, hey, I'd really like it if you talked more about this. Can you make a quick video? Or can you show me an example of how to do this in stat key? I don't know how to do this in stat key. So I'm more than happy to do that. You know, just ask on the discussion board and let me know. The other thing is I really want to emphasize that on your homeworks, you should be getting 100% on them. So you get four attempts for each problem. If you go through and you do the problem once, you do the problem twice, and you still have no idea how to do the problem, if you're just guessing, don't do that. Don't just guess at the answers. I would much rather you say, hey, I've tried this problem twice. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. Can you help me? And just put that onto the discussion board. And I'm more than happy to say, hey, here's an example that's really similar to this one. You know, I'll help you through the problem so that you are getting those 100% on the homework. So just keep that in mind as you go. Now, that doesn't mean I'm going to sit down and, you know, for every single problem, you know, show you how to do it. But you know, on the ones that you get stuck, you know, let me know and keep in mind that your textbook is full of examples and most of the time any problem that you're given, there's an example almost just like it in the textbook, so keep that in mind. Um, as always, you know, please ask me questions, that's what I'm here for, use that discussion board, I'm more than happy to help and I will talk to you guys for the next module.